Okay, we're back. We're doing the Hollow Knight All Achievements Guide. This is Wall Crawl and those three dudettes sitting up there, the Mantis Lords. Um, we are about to fight them. Now, let me go ahead and tell you something to get before you fight them, and then we'll explain the fight. You're going to hop up here, and you're going to use your Crystal Heart ability to kind of, um, well, you don't have to. You're going to jump and then uh, smash this little tippy top part of the wall. And in here is some um, um, lifeblood that can definitely help with a boss fight that comes up. So just two extra masks. That's valuable. Now, when you fight them, a gate's going to come up right here and block off the space. And right here, and this little space right here is going to open it into spikes so you can't go in there. And spikes. So it's kind of like a, a cage match or something. And what they do is you will first fight one of them, and then there'll be a second phase where you fight two more. They're like, huh, whoa, huh, whoa, huh. No, but one of the things they do is they come on the ground here and dash across trying to get you. They're very quick. Another thing they do is they come from the air and they go straight down and try to get you. It's kind of like the um, Soul Warrior fight um, with with those particular attacks. They're faster than the Soul Warrior on their bottom dash, though. And they take up pretty much the whole area that's not the spike. They appear on this side or the other and, and dash all the way across. Um, the other thing they do is they'll cling onto the wall, and if they're higher, they'll send out a blade that does this big arc that comes all the way around, or and they um, or they'll be down here and they'll send it downward and up instead. Now that may all sound confusing, but let me go ahead and I'll fight them and again walk through their abilities. After you stagger one of them and and she's too tired, the other two will jump down and fight you at the same time using the same. Uh, tool set, but they're doing it both at once. Now, something that I think really helps is if you can kind of jump over them and hit them with your great slash hits. At this particular time in the fight, I think that's the best way to go. Just keep charging it and uh, and do that. So, um, and then if they come down from the top, you can uh, you can dash and just kind of get a a side poke. Um, if you don't want to worry about great slashes, then you can hop over and just try to get like two hits in uh, each time. I think that's pretty much it right now. This fight kind of shifts as uh, in the later times when you fight them in challenge modes and things like that. So the pantheons. All right. So yes, I will challenge you. Oh, that's scary looking. Okay, so there's that above hit. There's that dash across. Is that above? There's, see how he sends out the little arcing blade? That's because he was all the way at the bottom. If he appears a little higher, it arcs the other direction. There it is. He's going to show me. She's going to show me. All right. So now we got this. Try to get one, two hits. One, two. One, two. One, two. Pow, pow. Okay. Now, not too long from now, I think she'll go uh, right there. And um, now the other two are going to be here. All right. If they do that, you know, just really focus on um, avoiding the blades. Now, a lot of times they do the same type thing, but they don't have to. See, they, that, that time it was, uh, yeah, they're mixing it up now. Okay, I'm going to go back to hitting. One, two, one, two, one, two. Pow, ouch, pow, pow, pow. I'm kind of working back in. Okay, see how they, they threw it harder this time. And that one's not very hard. That's kind of the two different versions of their throw. 
a lot of times I'm noticing that they jump on the wall two times in a row in this version of it. When they come across, it's a good chance to, to pogo when they're both coming from the opposite directions on the bottom. All right, just getting that one hit is the best way to go right now. All right, let's see if they do it again. They'll probably do it. Ooh, they didn't. It's pretty common, though. All right, see, so she's out. She's got to go sit and watch. Take me out of the game, coach. All right. Now, they they definitely respect you. you. And in fact, right there, you earn the respect achievement. They bow. Come on, give them a bow back. Definitely. All right, and they open this door for you. Let's just step in. Let's see what's in here, but... Oh, man. They did a lot of killing right there. This is the edge of Deep Nest, and let me tell you, we don't want to be here right now. So, let's step back out, and that's all we got for this video. Just learning how to whoop the mantises. Yep, mantis lords. Bow to them, and now all the, the mantises that you see are going to just bow to you. They're not going to attack you. That's why I feel pretty crappy killing them. So, that's all I got. Give me any comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.